name is Vidhi Kalra and welcome back to my channel 5 Minute Economics where I teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes. The topic for today is non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment commonly known as NIRU. I know you all must have heard about this term many a times but what actually is it? We'll be studying about it in today's video. So guys, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. And in this video, I'll be explaining to you all about Nairu, its existence and how does it work. So let's get started. And also guys, don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And do follow me on my Instagram handle, 5 Minute Economics. So coming now to explain to you what exactly is Nairu guys. Basically guys, let's go by definition is the lowest level of unemployment that can occur in an economy before inflation starts to inch higher. So if you have studied economics and you know the relationship between inflation and unemployment, it's basically vice versa. Why and all, I will be explaining to you later on. But for now, you should know that inflation rises, unemployment falls, and unemployment rises, inflation falls, vice versa. But what are they saying at Nairu level of unemployment, our inflation is constant. So basically, if unemployment is at Nairu, then inflation is constant. And this is that point at where we can say our inflation is constant. Otherwise, you know, it's always changing. It, uh, as I just explained, usually it's unemployment rising, obviously then inflation falling. And if unemployment is falling, then definitely inflation is rising. And we have seen that, you know, the Federal Reserve has told that around 5 to 6% of unemployment rate at that point is a NIRU rate. And uh, they have, you know, no set um, structure or model has been used to determine, but that is what they have observed. 5 to 6% of unemployment rate is a NIRU. And they say that because of this NIRU, now why is it useful? Because when we are at NIRU, we tend to determine few things. Through this, uh, we are able to achieve maximum employment as well as price stability in the market which are the two very important key factors in an economy so that is all about nairu moving ahead to the background or how did nairu came into existence so basically guys back in 1958 w phillips a very famous and well-known economist gave out his famous curve known as the phillips curve in case you are unaware about it, I made a very simple short video regarding the Phillips curve. You can check it out on my channel and attach the link in the comment section below. So in the Phillips curve, basically what he told us was that inflation and unemployment hold an inverse relationship always. It means when the inflation in an economy is rising, people are getting jobs and obviously unemployment is falling. And vice versa, if inflation is falling, then people are getting unemployed and you know, both always hold an inverse relationship. So that was actually believed to a certain level, but later on during 1970s when, you know, the economy was kind of stuck in a phase of stagflation or recession, you can call. In that recessionary phase, we saw that even when inflation was rising, our unemployment was uh, not falling but rising. So basically both were reaching a peak high, uh, both being high inflation and unemployment, not good sign for the economy, kind of a stage of stagflation. So Milton Friedman had told us that around that point, um, you know, then Phillips theory was kind of condemned that that definitely it's not always true, but true to a certain level. You can check out that uh, video where I've explained all about the Phillips curve. So this was when Milton Friedman came and then Milton Friedman, along with other economists, you know, they um, gave this concept of NIRU, which were, uh, where they stated that, you know, government policies should not be influenced by unemployment level below a certain level and that level is known as NIRU. Moving ahead to the correlation between inflation and unemployment. So for example guys, our unemployment rate is 5% and we've taken our inflation to be 2%. What are the economists saying that with time, obviously, you know, the inflation rate will correspond to or will, or will react to the unemployment rate, right? It uh, is also true that unemployment rate wouldn't be constant all the time. It keeps changing because of political factors, any natural disasters, any change in the you know workforce. So definitely it would respond to this. One important thing regarding Nairu, which I told you in the beginning is that when actual unemployment is equal to the Nairu rate, then in that case, our inflation is constant. I told you right in the beginning, right? But in the case when Nairu is more than actual unemployment, our inflationary expectation rises and inflation goes up. 
whereas you know if the actual employment is less than the nairu rate in that case our inflation falls and this is all like you know these three uh, uh, what do you call it? equations factors whatever you can say in your own words you need to remember this and specifically the last one that when actual unemployment is equal to nairu at that point our inflation is constant moving ahead guys to the main difference between natural unemployment and nairu so basically natural unemployment guys is that where you know it results from voluntary forces people are unemployed or you know because of technological changes any structural changes or maybe they lack some skills basically um, full employment is an illusion we all know that an economy cannot be fully employed we definitely have some people like you know freshly uh, graduated people who will be unemployed for a certain period or some because of change in technologies so at that that thing is actually called natural rate of unemployment but nairu when we are talking about nairu we are basically talking about inflation so it is that specific level of unemployment when inflation is constant so lastly guys concluding this topic of nairu with one very important limitation is that that here you know whenever we've spoken about unemployment we've always spoken about just inflation but that's not true there are many factors which affect unemployment and not just inflation and that is one important limitation that's all about this topic guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was useful for you please do like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon